cold pizza. Cold pizza on a Saturday. Nothing better than on a rainy Saturday. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You need to come to Valhalla to hear that <laughs> that news. Um, this is going into our 10th season at Valhalla. And yesterday I spent a ton of time watching YouTube videos of all the crazy things that we've done. Particularly that uh, Germ has done specifically on the land <laughs> over the years. But in fact, it, so many of us. Uh, to watch us age, to watch us mature, to watch us learn, to watch us you know, go through the ups and downs of what it took to make this project happen um, is remarkable. And more than anything, this year the energy feels absolutely amazing. You know, last year we built an enormous amount of infrastructure that's all over the farm and there was so much goodwill, so much talent, laughter, fun, excitement, um, new possibilities. And uh, maybe, maybe it's correlated with the coffee machine, maybe, but maybe it's not. It's um, definitely the coffee machine. <laughs> the espresso helps. Um, but... Um, you know, more than anything, it's it's the goodwill of, of people who show up, who bring in their two cents, who, who take care of things and who get involved in projects that they want to see happen on this space. And, you know, this is a co-creative process. Um, and uh, 10 years in, we've uh, we've made a lot of mistakes, but we've also learned a few things. And I think more than ever, we're dedicated to building community. So we can't wait to show you all the amazing projects that we have. Uh, coming online this year. Uh, there's so many special things. There's so much more um, opportunity for people to get involved, for people to sell their products, their services, their farm created goods um, right here at the, at the farm and on the land. And so we're deeply excited, deeply humbled uh, by this process. And uh, yeah, but uh, we've got something special for, for tomorrow. Don't. <laughs> and cold pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, in the hunt for uh, alternative ways of living, alternative ways of gathering humans, alternative ways of building really interesting and amazing spaces, um, we're at domes. We're at domes. When looking to build alternative spaces and communities, well, of course you're going to consider alternative buildings. And domes is where we're landing. We're finding ways to gather humans, finding ways to enable plants to also survive all winter. And, uh, yeah, geodesic domes are pretty cool. Montreal's known for geodesic domes, right? Amazing spaces, places to grow, heated by the sun. Some propane heat, solar fans. It's pretty interesting. So why domes? What do we need them for? What are we really going to use them to do? And the answer is number one, four seasons. Having garden beds, a seed starting space, even if we have to bring in racks and start with lights at the right time of season would be a game changer. But it's also a game changer from the perspective of having indoor space to host community gatherings, farm table dinners, uh, planning and preparation meetings. I mean, everything you can think of, including things like yoga ceremonies, cacao ceremonies, full moon ceremonies, you name it. So we're looking to expand. We're looking to enable people to feel comfortable in all seasons and adding a interior structure, something that looks interesting and exciting that brings people to be curious. Well, the hell has always had that in its DNA. I mean, we did it with earth ships, why not do it with this? If we were doing dinners, right? Because now we can, can extend yeah. farm table dinners just a certain period of time. Of yeah. How many people are yeah. seated, seated in here? Eight, eight, six to eight on a picnic table, right? Let's just pick the table. But it, well, picnic table is one way of going about it, but if you even went about it with tables like this, this is six people right here. That's true. You get what I mean? So yeah. how many of those fit? Well, quite a lot. I mean, I think you've got seating for at least 50, at least 50 people. And if you were doing like a, a, a movie night, you've got you've got seating for at least eighty people. <laughs> you got the Canadian attire for sure. Oh my God, put that down. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Good. Yeah. So we're following Ben to a secret location. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's all this about pancakes? They take their maple game seriously here. This for real. <laughs> this for real. <laughs> it's springtime. The maple, she's flowing. She's flowing heavy. Is that a llama? I believe it is. Excuse me. <laughs> Strap it to my bane. Right, let me pet you. What, sheep do? I'm gonna pet you, you sheep. <laughs> you know that it's the ball. Yeah, just a ball. See? Here's your ball, you see, stupid sheep. You see, back in the day, Canadian motor vehicles were powered by maple syrup. It's what fueled this country. <laughs> this is the most Canadian thing of all time. <laughs> <laughs> this is as Canadian as it gets. Are you from Canada? Uh, uh, we are from Montreal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever seen this many chainsaws in one place. We're looking for Canadians. Canadians like they, like they used to make them. Canadians that used to be able to hold chainsaws like this. Be able to go out into the forest and cut down some trees and catch some maple trees and make some maple syrup. In the dead of winter, survive the great Canadian North. We're looking for real men and women dedicated to an eco lifestyle. Dedicated to life lived with the trees. We made machines did it faster, better, cut more trees, made them fall to the ground, and now we find cornfields, fields with, well, no real life growing there, fields that have no biodiversity, have no true ecosystem. And uh, as much as we honor this, we would love to see those ecosystems regenerate to come back in a regenerative fashion. Over time, the, the tools might have gotten better, but did we, as humans, get better? Welcome to another season of Valhalla. There's only one reason to put your Game Boy away, kids, and it's when you're at the Maple Syrup Factory. As you can see, the juices are flowing. And this year, so are the creative juices. The real deal here. Mm -hmm. mm. You want the, Wait. Uh, mm. Want some pour action over here? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, mm. There I was you thinking go. About it. But nowadays we're doing things a little bit differently, and we're partnering with people like Arctic Acres who are building dome kits. And of course, everything is sourced and manufactured right here in Canada, our home. You see at Valhalla, we are welcoming the 2022 season where the old boys are bringing you something new. We're really excited to bring you on this journey, to allow you to laugh alongside us, to learn alongside us, and to bring to the forefront this revolution, this new way of thinking. And so we can't wait to have you outside on the farms or fields with us on Fridays and Saturdays if you ever wanna join, or if you're online, make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe, just please give us your support, leave your comments. Um, yeah, we are really excited about this season. So, welcome to Valhalla 2022. And of course, there's always a rainbow on the way home, guiding you right back to the sun. <laughs>